Hey everybody. Here you're looking at a 4 gigabyte SD high capacity card. I've had this particular memory card for going on 4 years now. I got it in June 2009. So I've had it actually longer than Q Computer Channel has been on YouTube. I got this memory card back in the Bike Geek CCP days. So I've had it for a pretty long time. And it was the only memory card I used in my DXG567V camera for, I don't know, two or three, yeah, two years at least. And later on, I bought a Transcend Class 10 8 gb card off a of new egg, and that's what I'm using right now on my camera. And I've also got a 16 gig Class 4 just basic card from Walmart. I use this one to do time lapse footage because I need a whole lot of space. Anyways, that being said, this card here has seen a lot of use. So basically, have a look at the bottom here. Let's have a look at this. Look at the wear on those teeth. When it's contacts anyway. It's just real clean. You can see where the contacts of every card reader has been put in has scratched up real good. So this card has had a fair bit of use. Now here's a very interesting part. This memory card has been used so much that the plastic has started to come apart here. And it has gotten to the point where it just fell apart. So let's go ahead and take this off and have a look inside. So here's the inside of an SD high capacity card. There's your two memory chips. Obviously I guess these will be two gigabyte memory chips. Now flip this over, the whole thing just comes apart. I'm going to show you the bottom side of the PCB. But this is what a um, SD card looks like, or at least a SD high capacity card looks like. This is a PQI 4 gigabyte class 6 card from 2009. Now, well, if, you, if you're thinking, man, that's tiny, just think there are ST um, high capacity cards that come in the micro SD format that hold like 32 gigs. It's really amazing how much, how small memory storage devices have gotten over the years. There's your good close up of this thing. Anyways, there's your little um, view of what the inside of an SD high capacity card looks like. This card still works, but I just want to show it to you before I try to fix it back together. And I believe the only way I'm going to be able to do that is to place it back in here to where it has the little um, lock switch and everything. I'm going to actually try to tape it back together, just put some electrical tape or something around this. Or um, I guess I could super glue it back together. Or in worst case, just buying it a card. But yeah, that's what the inside of an SD high capacity card looks like. I figured it'd be something pretty interesting to share with you. So anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.